Hello, I'm Matt Hawes, your superintendent for Albemarle County Public Schools, and I want to share some thoughts with you that have been very much on my mind. Most important, I hope you and your family are safe. I want you to know that there is no higher priority for me than your well-being. Let me tell you what I've been thinking about since March 13th. Over the past few months, our communities have learned or relearned that you can take away a building, a school bus, a desk, a prom, even graduations. All those objects and activities can be taken away. But if you take away a teacher, you no longer have a school. Now I think about our students and how much they have been missing you and what they have missed out on by not being with you. And I feel a great sense of urgency for them and for you. You have been on my mind. I want you to know how valued you are as a person, as my colleague, as an educator, and as a team member. Many of you are rightfully concerned about the fall. We all are. As we continue our planning to ensure your health and safety, I'd like to ask you to help us with that work. Today, you will be receiving a link to a survey that will help us make the right decisions with you for our return to school this fall. The survey will ask about your specific concerns about returning to school as well as your professional development and child care needs. We'll use your information to decide how we can help. One idea we're considering, for example, is providing child care for our teachers with school-aged children next month, for starters. We would like to find a way to do that, and we are exploring possibilities now. Another example, for our secondary students and teachers, we will be limiting classes to four per semester for this year, which will reduce the number of students in classes for each teacher during each half of the school year. And for another example, for any teacher with an underlying health condition or concern, we will do our very best to provide you with a range of safe options, including remote instructional opportunities and tiers of leave choices, plus health benefits for all employees that include ACPS covering the cost for any employee who becomes infected with COVID-19, whether it is a work-related infection or not. We are currently drafting an Almall County School Board policy, uh, which will allow us to require all students, staff, and family who enter our schools to wear a facial covering or a mask as their age and any underlying health conditions allow them to do. We all will continue to be challenged in our personal and professional lives by COVID-19. Millions of people across our nation have had their lives disrupted, have lost hope, and have lost their jobs and savings in the process. We've seen the damage in our own school division where the most difficult decision our school board had to make this spring was to eliminate the pay increases we planned for all employees this year. I for one am greatly disappointed as we were looking forward to rewarding all of you, all of our employees, as our economy, an economy you helped drive, was once surging. That's because to our students and their families, you are more than just an educator. You are among their most trusted, valued, and dependable advisors. At a time when they most needed that support, you were there to lift them up, and in doing so, you lifted up our community. The challenges and opportunities before us have not disappeared. The success of our work and our impact will be measured this fall, as always, in your dedication to those who most depend upon us for their future, our children. They cannot get there without you. That is what's on my mind every day. For many in our community, there doesn't seem to be anything to look forward to today. I can tell you one thing for sure, though, and I'm telling you something you already know. One thing your students and families are looking forward to is their opportunity to see you again. Parents tell me their children miss you. I definitely miss you. Even during this most technically advanced time, when I can get an up-to-the-minute weather forecast on my iPhone, or text my colleagues to instantaneously check in with them. We truly cannot know how or when this time of the coronavirus will come to an end. And in fact, you are probably more isolated now than you ever have been. You are isolated, but you are not alone. You are part of Albemarle County Public Schools. You are with us, and I want you to know 
that I hope you come back for school. I know that not all of our employees will come back this fall, and some will not come back the way they normally do to work in educational and support roles. But I want you to know it's important to me that you come back to us. I promise you that we will put into place every mitigation strategy that is legally possible and feasible and practical with our unique schools, classroom, and resources. We will set up a question and answer board specifically for employees and do the best we can to answer all your questions and or point you toward resources for answers with the best advice and problem solving that all of us can do together. We are surveying you now as we roll out more specific scheduling plans so that we can continue to address your concerns and fine tune our plans. So I'll say it again. I ask you to please come back to school. Come back to the work you have made your life's work. Come back to your students. Continue your career with us. While I have no crystal ball, I will make this prediction. As you come back, our students, families, and communities will follow your lead. Thank you for your time and attention. As I said earlier, you are on my mind, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to share with you what I've been thinking. I hope you are well, and I hope to see you soon.